What can you tell us about uh, that uh, Source magazine cover? Was everyone there at the same time? Yep. What was I, that like? What it was, was that a day great like? day. I, I played dominoes with Jay Prince, um, senior, and uh, we was on a ranch. You know, that was one of the inspirations to me. You know, buying a ranch and cattle. Um, so just being on the ranch and hearing about the ranch and just being there. And Cause who was on that cover? It was you, Face, Rose, Slim, Paul, Chameleon, Chameleon, Pimp C, Bun B. Chingo Chim Bling, Zero. which was random, but shut I don't up. think he was on the cover. I, I think, think he, he was, was on the inside. Yeah, you had to open it. Oh, you had to open it. Yeah, I okay. Because it was the, it was the cover was like one of those fold out fold out ones. I still I'm have the to, magazine. Damn, damn. But I remember him being there. Yeah, because like the ones I got, I got, I still got some copies of that in my studio. But that particular one, I don't think. Fold, yeah, maybe he was on the inside. Out. Maybe I don't remember. Yeah, I think yeah. it was the inside. But but yeah, everybody was there, bro. It was a cold day. That's why I had on the fur. It was a cold ass fucking day, and um, we did some kind of like past the mic freestyle that, that same day too. It was cool, man. I mean, it was cold. Was it probably the last day that all those people were st- together all at once, huh? Man, when you put it like that, probably so. It's a lot of people to get. Yeah, in one yeah, place. probably so because we lost Pimp C. Long live Pimp C. Yeah, smoke some bitch in memory of Pimp C. Yeah, that was a that was a big moment because I just it encapsulated just kind of right the movement that was going on at the time. Definitely. Uh, why do you think that movement didn't have a lot of longevity commercially? Because it felt mm-hmm. like there was like a three or four year window where it was like it, and then it kind of just started to, you know, I don't know if it was G Unit, you know, running with shit or it mm-hmm. just just hip hop kind of shifted. Shifted right. Um, I, I know part of the reason is what's the word evolving, right? Mm-hmm. Every coast, every town has their own lingo, their own slang, words that they say, things that they do. So for us, you know, the candy paint, the double cups, the diamond teeth, that's us, right? That's our culture. Like we live, it's in us. It's not a, a fad right, for right, us, right? right. right? So some it was people, a fad for the rest of the country, right? So it's, yeah, to some, of, yeah, they they thought it was a fad, and so everybody started getting grills where they're talking, you know, funny, can't right. really talk, and just you know, double cups, all this stuff that we started, and um, so man, it, it's just like some people didn't want to keep hearing about candy paint, popping trunks, grills, you know what I mean, and and then um, at the same time, some artists like. Okay, if you make a record that's about a certain topic, right, and it it, it it goes, you know, gold or whatever the case may be, plenty, you know, plenty fanfare, you're going to r- replicate that. People are going to be in your ear. You need another one of those. Right. So then you go back in the studio and you try to make another one of those. Especially back then, yeah. Right. So it's like. They're probably around your head like, we need another sunshine. Right. Right. 